basically I uh, selected a sample and uh, in order to get it ready for reusing in any fashion I had to do some time warping on it. Basically got it all warped here to where it will play nicely over a click track and we can make a drum beat over it like so. So anyways, um, I've got a folder here uh, linked up through Ableton's browser that I've been digging on lately. And so we're just going to find kick, snare, and hat. Real simple. I'm just going to move the start point of this sampler to here. So the kick, see if there's anything we need to change. So right off the bat, it's a little too long for me. So I kind of want to make it more like a quick thud kind of. turn the velocity up a little bit Okay, so one major thing, we made this drum rack for chopping samples in the last tutorial. Uh, if you saw it, then you'll know that we set up choke groups on here. When you're working with drums, a choke group is not really going to work because if any of these two drums hit, hit at the same time, they're going to try to choke each other out. So we're going to put this to none, put this to none, and put that to none. Uh, okay, so anyways, our snare. Let's see here. With the snare, let's turn the release up so we get all that crackle at the end. Let's try and maybe pitch it down one or two semitones. Keep that at C. I don't know if you can hear that tone. So that would be an F. Forgive me for my ridiculous singing. Singer, I am not. However, I do use that kind of technique for checking pitch. So. Okay, so one cool thing about the rack that we set up earlier, it does have some effects on here that I am going to probably find useful for lo-fi. Now, I want to make sure that the drums are going through the effects rack that I have on this, and only through that. Like Right now, it'll be a mixture of uh, dry and wet. So, for instance, if I bring this cutoff filter down... You can hear it working, but it's also letting the clean signal through. So if I come down here to where my 
uh, effect rack is in my sends on the drum rack, I can hit the, the uh, solo button. And now it's only going through the uh, going through the effect rack fully. A lot of the time, you can achieve the drum sound by using filters. Uh, it's also really nice to have this compressor on here, so let's kind of mess with that. play around with the drums and play around with some of the sounds and see if we can get a nice sound and then maybe we can lay some lay a, lay a beat down I think we could make it even better if we were to use the filter cutoff on this snare I could add a little bit of a reverb So I'm actually pretty happy with that drum sound overall. I think I'm just going to go ahead and lay some drums down. As long as I don't have this plus sign turned on, then I can keep on looping the drum pattern that I play over and over here. Then when I'm done, I can actually just pull it out as long as I want it. So let's go ahead and record a drum pattern then. We'll turn the click track on this time and let's see what we can record.
Okay, so your thought might be, wow, that's a lot of drum. Why do we have all that? Well, because there's a lot of screw-ups in there, and there's a lot of good stuff in there. So I want to be able to comb through it and find the shit that I really like and the shit that I really hate. Throw away the shit that I hate, keep the shit that I really like. Make different combinations of the things that I do like, so that way I don't have just the same exact drum beat going all the way through. This way we can have some changes, but all of it will be stuff that I like. So unfortunately, that means I am going to have to sit here and uh, listen through all of it and delete the shit that I don't like and keep the shit that I do and kind of build my own based off of that stuff. But I will do that on the next video. Uh, I have all this uh, drum data here and probably copied and pasted into new pieces. But for now, I think that's where we will leave off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below, all that good stuff. Any suggestions on anything, I'd love to hear it as well. So, all right, everybody, stay positive, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.